This is the third attempt on this video of these characters. I'm going to just do this one a lot quicker than I did it before. So, we got here Bandai Dragon Swords. Okay? I'm going to do the legacy ones in a minute. These are the Bandai's. Did I got it right? Yeah. I'm going to show you right through the top. See? I once got the clear gold, and yeah, this is the American one. This is the Japanese one. This is the top of the heads. Fancy design for the Japanese. Plug and bolt for the American. Pecker protector says M for the American. Pecker protector says Z for the Japanese. Lightning bolt for the American, Z on the bottom for the Japanese version. Lightning bolt on the shoulder here. Fancy unknown design to most American people. The Japanese version. M on the thigh. I think that's supposed to be mighty or morphin or something or power your thing. And intricate design on the Japanese version. And that's all you're going to see with those. Now, it's time for the legacy. There we go. One legacy dragon sword. Okay, just say this real quick. This whole thing is not die cast. As a matter of fact, most of it is not die cast. Most of it is plastic. Okay, for sure, what's die cast? shoulder pieces that hold the arms that open up and out and all that stuff the center crotch piece like steel underwear and the feet the rest is not die cast the rest is plastic the tail is plastic the head is plastic this thing is plastic something that possibly die cast might be the face upper and lower jaw okay other than that it's not that bad of a toy it could have been better. Solo Chikoki gets some things better, but not everything. Um, so now I'm going to bring up my Legacy Dragon Sword that I redid. And I'm going to run through this pretty quick. Or at least quicker than the other videos. Okay, ready? Okay, from top to bottom, comparison. Um, you see, I've got the little gold on top of the head, and the front part is a little bit cornered. A little bit, uh, let me get that right. Well, yeah, for some reason. Right, now here I have to take some of that. See? I gave him a bigger gold piece area on top, and I rounded out the, uh, over here, uh, make it a little bit more accurate. Soldier Koken really has, it's supposed to really just go round, it's not supposed to go to a corner point, you know. I, let's see now, okay. Uh, top of shoulders is gold. That is wrong. Top of shoulder is supposed to be black. Okay, doesn't go all the way to the back, there's a little exposed area, I caught that in a still shot, alright, now, and the little head spools on the side have that little gold tabs on the inside, they should be larger, so I made a larger gold area, the throat we'll call that, with the green, the green throat, with the little red light at the bottom, is better done by this. The darker green and the black lines and of course the silver exposed up to the point of the black line. It's supposed to go up like right into it but then it looked awkward on mine because it was too far away. So I did the best I could to fix that thing. Um, 
Then I took off the hook, see? See this one here? It has the hook that holds the pecker protector. Or since it's where it's placed, some, place, some people call it a stomach guard. And it's, so I took that hook off and sanded everything down and just kind of repainted the bottom a little bit and placed this where it belongs on this hook here. See? Oh. Hands are so bulky and cumbersome. See, I made this nice little hook that you put and you could remove it if you had to. You didn't have to so it has a more authentic show look. Okay, then I made this fake waistline to put this in here like this so he would be looking a little bit more authentic. Let me just fix this. Uh, let me see. All right, there we go. So continuing on. Now, let move this up a little bit. So it's even in height and size. Or actually, this guy can build taller to give him that waistline. Now, we go right down here. See? No, no, he's fine. There we go. Get a little bit out of the glare. Now, you, this is a common look. It's with the original Bandai toy. It's Soul Shikokum does it or whatever. He does not have the flaps that you see here. This is the authentic look of how his front flaps are in front of the thighs. And you can also see here the silver on the leg. It's not supposed to be silver. It's supposed to be black. I want to drop this. Every time I do the video, this thing... Okay. Now, see, here it's silver underneath, and I did it in the correct black form. And let's see, ah, we go to the back of the head. You can see it's got like this open area with this tab, which is probably, I, I, I'm going to guess it's for the transformation purpose for some reason. Maybe to put the, that, I don't know. Since I don't have the other swords, I don't like this transforming. This is the best look of the character. Any other look, he, he, once you pull him apart and make him different, he isn't the dragon sword anymore. He's just a part of the other swords. And that big one, the where he's on top of the head of the Megazord. It just makes him look like when, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Native Americans would hunt buffalo for food and clothing and whatever and make teepees out of them. It, like, the head chief is wearing the buffalo he slaughtered on top of his head with the horns and the fur on his shoulder and all that. That's what this becomes. When you put this on top of the Megazord, it's like you killed him and he became like something that the Megazord is wearing as a headdress. So that never appealed to me. Now, here I redid the back of the head on this one. See that? So it's more, you know, looking like you should. The only thing I didn't have time or didn't know exactly what to do with these cover up these screw holes. No, but uh, it is what it is. So, um, let's see. I don't want to have an accident. So far, this has been my best video. I've not had a disaster. Nothing fell apart. I'm put these back in place. And I think. Let me see. I don't think I've been. Oh! Did I, I mentioned it so many times in other videos. I'm just going to show you one of these guys real quick. Go back to the Bandai's. You see this Bandai? It, most of people know it. you have it, it has a little battery pack in the back, you put it in and you press the little switch here in the back. I don't have a battery in it, so it's not going to make any noise with light up. And it just has a kind of, kind of ringing noise with the lights blinking. And people think that has something, that it should have just been a quick push button for just a momentary sound. Um, that little bell you hear the ringing and the lights go, that is an actual sound from the Japanese series Ranger. It's not a made-up toy noise. So I just want you to know that. The noise is authentic and legitimate. 
It comes from the Japanese series. That's one of the very many sounds, or a few sounds, that uh, Dragon Caesar, as they call him, in that series, made. All right, so I think that's more than enough. I've yammered on enough. You know, I'm just going to swap places with these two guys for just a moment here. See, uh, for some reason, what's on this side looks better in the camera than this side. All right. Let me just tip that up just a little bit. All right, All right that's enough. Have a nice day, and uh, God bless America, or whatever.